Hi guys, it's Taylor and welcome back or to my channel if you're new here. Today I am collaborating with Princess Polly for a Halloween outfits idea video. They seriously have the cutest Halloween edit ever on their website with the cutest and trendiest, most unique outfit ideas I've ever seen. So I'm really excited to show you guys the outfits that I came up with and picked out for this video. I have five different outfits to show you guys and they are all seriously so good. Princess Polly does offer free express two-day shipping to the US on orders over 50 US dollars. So this is perfect if you guys are in need of a really cute last minute Halloween costume. Even though we can't go out to a club or like a bar and celebrate, I'm still getting dressed up at my house, taking some Instagram photos, getting in the spirit and just gonna have some fun because Halloween is my favorite holiday ever and I could not imagine not celebrating it. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of us are like that. Princess Polly also offers afterpay to all US customers and I do have a 20% off discount code that's valid for 30 days. It's just TK20. You can shop anything from their site. I'll have all the details, product links, my sizing, all the information you need to know will be down in the description box. But let's get into the video. The first outfit I have to show you guys is Regina George from Mean Girls. I low-key have always wanted to be here for Halloween, so when I saw that was kind of an outfit featured on the edit, I never added something to my cart so fast. It is so cute, and I'll put my inspo photo up on the screen here, but the items that I found on the site are almost identical to Regina George's outfit, so I'm really excited. I know you guys are gonna love it. So starting off with the star of the show, I feel like this piece is what really makes the outfit and everybody is gonna know that you're Regina George by this piece because she definitely wore leather skirts multiple times throughout the video. But this is called the Rizzo mini skirt in black and I got it in a US too. That is my true size on Princess Polly and it fits me perfectly. But it's basically like there, I have another skirt in this style. It's a white kind of denim skirt that has a slit on the left side, but they made it into a leather skirt, which is awesome. Even if you get this for Halloween, you can rewear this so many different ways. Um, it's just a really good staple to have and you'll get a lot of use out of it, but it just fits so nicely. I'm obsessed with it. For the top, I just got this baby tank top in white and I got it in a size US 2 and it fits me perfectly. I honestly probably could have sized down to a zero because I feel like Regina George's boobs were like always popping out and stuff. So if you want to go for that more scandalous look, you could definitely size down. It's like a nice soft ribbing material. So you could definitely wear no bra with this. And I just love the like, old English gothic thick baby font in red on the front. I think it's so cute. And then the last clothing piece for the Regina George outfit is this baby pink cardigan. So this is called the Michael Top in pink and I got this in a US 4, but I just undid it for this outfit and put it over the white tank top and it literally looked identical to the outfit that Regina George wore in the movie. It's so crazy and I'm so obsessed with it. The accessories, I just picked up this adorable baby pink little mini nylon bag. I love this because one, the color is amazing and it matches the cardigan so perfectly. And two, it has gold detailing on it. For this specific outfit, I'd probably just throw it over my arm right here and hold it like this. And to finish off the outfit, I just picked up a pair of these strappy crocodile mules. So you have one strap that goes around your toes and one closer to your ankles. It's just so cute and it just really Really finishes off the look because I feel like this style of mule is very like early 2000s Mean Girls Clueless vibes and I actually paired these shoes with almost all of the outfits I'm about to show you guys. So the next costume that I created was Maddie from Euphoria. I feel like every girl is going to be Maddie or some sort of character from Euphoria this year. But honestly, I'm hopping on the bandwagon because it's so cute and her character is just so iconic. I found this one on Princess Polly that looks almost identical to what Maddie wore. So the star of the show is the straps that sit over your hips. Maddie wore this outfit to that carnival and I'm so obsessed with it. It just makes your hips look so beautiful and enhances them. So I really, really love this. These pants are also gonna be really nice to wear when we're able to go out again because they're so fun and different. The material of them is so soft too. They're kind of like leggings and then they flare out at the bottom. I got this set in a US too and it fits me perfectly. So those are the bottoms and then for the top, it's just a 
What's wrong? My cat freaked out. Um, so those are the bottoms. And then for the top is a black top that has the same really thin strap that the pants do on one side. I love this because it's double lined and I do have a bigger chest. So it actually holds me in, which is always a plus. For the shoes, I just wore the same mules that I showed last time. I'm not even sure what shoes Maddie wore at the carnival, but I'm sure it was like some sort of heel like that. Another costume that you can do with this set is a pop star. I actually really want to be a pop star this year. Like if I went out, that's probably what I would have been. Imagine being Hannah Montana for Halloween. That'd be so amazing. But my mom is actually a fitness coordinator. So she teaches classes at the gym. So she has like a bunch of just random headsets at home. And I just used one of hers for this outfit. And I feel like because it's so unique and fun and scandalous, it totally looks like something Ariana Grande would wear on stage or something. So I was just living out my pop star Hannah Montana dreams in this outfit. And if you don't have one of those headsets, I know like Party City or Spirit Halloween sells the microphones you can buy or you can definitely find them on Amazon. So the next costume I'm gonna show you guys is a tennis player. I feel like this one is gonna be really big this year too because every single girl has a white tennis skirt. So it's just so easy and casual. I already have a white tennis skirt, but honestly I wear it all the time. So I just picked up another one. This one is called the Rosella mini skirt and I got it in a size two. I love this one because it doesn't have all of the pleated details on the front. It just has a few details on, on both sides and then the middle is completely blank and then it has all of the pleated details on the back. I feel like the detailing of it makes it look a little bit more sporty. For the top, I just picked up this Madeline top in white and I got it in a US 2. It's just a white ribbed basic tank top that has the really cute tying details on both sides to customize the shirts to make it shorter or longer. Just throw on some sneakers, tie a crew neck over your shoulder. And for this outfit, I actually had a tennis racket as a prop. I had some in my garage and I just thought it was very fitting. I've been seeing this specific outfit all over Pinterest and and TikTok for those Halloween outfit idea videos. And I think it's so cute and it's really easy to recreate. The last look I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video is a Bratz doll and I'm so excited about this one. I saved one of the best ones for last. So the first piece that I have to show you guys for this outfit is this cardigan that I'm wearing right now. This is called the Merlot cardigan and I got it in a size extra small slash small. I'm obsessed with this because it's furry. It looks like those fuzzy carpets and I just think it looks so vintage and definitely something a Bratz doll would wear. And the buttons are huge, kind of brassy looking bubbles. The buttons on it too also make it look very like Y2K. And then for the pants, I just picked up the Holly asymmetrical straight leg jeans and I got these in a size US2. I actually have these in a zero and I wear them all the time. So I just grabbed another pair and I got a bigger size than what I had before to be really oversized and have a looser fit and for the shoes i just threw on the same crocodile mules that i was wearing in the previous outfits just do some really cute wing liner and eyeshadow overline your lips a little bit do your hair really cute and just throw on some random vintage looking accessories i just used a hat scarf and sunglasses but this outfit is really cute and easy and be a really cute girls group costume. I didn't base this off a specific Bratz doll like Jasmine or whatever, but I just kind of made it into my own and I feel like most people would know what you are or they would get it as soon as you told them. So those are all of the Halloween outfits I have to show you guys from Princess Polly for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below of your favorite outfit that I featured in this video or just let me know what you guys are doing for Halloween. I love chatting with you guys. So you can comment anything and we can talk it up in the comments but don't forget to use my 20% off discount code from princess polly it's just tk20 and they also have free express two-day shipping to the u.s on orders over 50 us dollars so if you guys are looking for a last minute costume make sure you check out princess polly's halloween edit and make sure to take advantage of their afterpay to the u.s customers have a safe halloween make sure you still get in the spirit because halloween is the best holiday ever and i'll see you guys in my next video bye